Welcome to my channel, I'm Peter Birch, and today here on Criticam, we're going to be collecting some knobtail gecko eggs. That's right, some knobtail gecko eggs. So we're going to enter my lizard room, that's right. And I mean, you guys have seen the videos that we've done about these beautiful little pygmy monitors in their enclosures here. These guys are all set up now, so I've got my Primordius, my Brevi Quarters are all down here, which are all settling in really well. Now, today, what we're actually doing is the knobtail gecko. So I've taken them out of a rack system, uh, just a tub system, and I've brought them in and I've put them in these small, beautiful little enclosures, which makes it nice and simple. And what we're gonna be doing is collecting some eggs. So one of my little knobtails have laid eggs. We're gonna stick them in a, these little tubs here, little gecko egg tub. That's right, um, over water incubation method is what I prefer to do. Now, as you can see what she's done, she's come through and she's pushed all the sand up into this corner, which is the moist corner. So the water bowl was actually sitting here. She's pushed the water bowl to the side. It's this big water bowl here. She's pushed that to the side. And um, my guess is that she's laid eggs in this big pile of sand. So we slowly, slowly work your way through it here like this. Hopefully we're gonna find some eggs. Now the reason why you do it nice and slow is because you don't want to tip and roll the eggs. So we're just basically bulldozing all the sand out of the way here. And um, what'll happen is, like all sort of lizards that lay eggs, they'll typically build basically like a little nesting area. And um, it'll be softer, it should be hollow, and um, you should be able to find the eggs in there a little bit easier. Now, this seems to be, there they are, right down there, so just slowly digging away there. You can see the eggs. Oh, well, there's one egg anyway. Um, typically, they lay two at a time, so there's one. A little bit stained because of the sand. Uh, let's see if we can find the second one. nice you know red sand's pretty cool but it um, does stain the eggs a little so we're gonna keep plugging away here but like I said typically they lay two eggs at a time so that would mean there's a second egg in here and there it is nowhere near where she laid the first egg which is a bit crazy but that's all right second egg is over here right there so the first egg was over here and the second egg is over there. Now, sort of just lift that egg up like that. Nice. And pull it out. Don't get a little bit too crazy about moving the sand off it. So there we go. We've put the eggs into the tub now. Plonked them right on in there like that sitting in there above water. Now these guys are gonna take around about 52 days to uh, incubate and pop out some absolute gorgeous little babies, let's hope so. So we're gonna take these, put them in the incubator. In about 50 odd days, they're gonna hatch out some gorgeous little knobtail geckos. Absolutely melt your heart. I hope you guys enjoyed today having a look at some knobtail geckos, especially just collecting some eggs, something a little bit different, I guess, for most people. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching Critter Camp.